Hello, I'm Joseph Albert, Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Medicine, and I'm here today to call your attention to another interesting article in this month's issue of the journal. The authors, uh, it's from Denmark, um, and I'll pronounce it in the Danish way. The first author is Sugor, uh, English pronunciation, or American pronunciation would probably be Sogard. Uh, in any case, uh, uh, an excellent young woman cardiologist who I know from my many visits to Denmark. And what they have in Denmark is every single person in the country is in their database so that they can access incredible um, information about the whole population. Um, this one, and we published previous articles uh, where they've looked at a variety of things. This one looks at the use of anticoagulants in the first trimester of pregnancy. Some women require anticoagulants at that time uh, because of uh, a history of uh, pulmonary embolism or venous thrombosis and so forth. In any case, um, it we know that warfarin in the first trimester causes congenital abnormalities. And it turns out now that the direct oral anticoagulants, the DOACs, do the same thing. So there's a strong recommendation there to use uh, subcutaneous Lovenox in the first trimester of pregnancy because there were no congenital uh, abnormalities with this shortened form of heparin uh, when injected subcutaneously. An important message for uh, clinicians uh, uh, in this regard, and this is real life uh, clinical information covering the entire Danish population. So thanks very much for reading the American Journal of Medicine. Thanks for staying in touch with us through our social media.